Bill, what you looking for? My mind gets to wandering and about things, and I, I have these ideas, and I, I say I need to uh, make a note of that on my phone, or so I remember when I'm shooting video, I, I can bring these brilliant points up, and I made all these kind of reminders on my phone. Only problem is I forgot where I put them. I can't find the things. <laughs> I found them, Joe. Where did, where did you find them? Right where I put them. <laughs> and I even put them in blue top so they would stand out. And I would know when I saw that blue, that's what it was. But I found them. This first thought I got a note on. Has a chicken got lips? <laughs> <laughs> Joe done spied him up there. Yeah. Get him, Tux. There you go, buddy. Found an old bottle. Still got a little swig in it. I have to stand here and get my head right after I look up looking for them squirrels. I guess they're dizzy. I'll be all right to go in a minute. I've often wondered, does a snake have hips? <laughs> <laughs> I heard a boom. <laughs> Maybe we got another one. I heard another boom. Maybe he's getting away. I heard another boom. He's running. That doggone Joe is shooting like he's in a dove hunt. I thought we were squirrel hunting. <laughs> and I heard that shooting. I said, well, Joe's got him. And I heard another shot. And I said, uh oh. I heard another shot. I said, uh oh. And I envisioned in my mind a man with a cowboy hat running through the wood. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Oh, uh, I wish I'd have been there to see it. But that's okay. I'm this far. <laughs> I think I heard about eight shots. Did you get all eight of them? I wish I could answer that and say yeah, but the truth is, eight shots, one squirrel. <laughs> I ain't quite as good a shot as I used to be. One out of eight ain't too bad, Joe. <laughs> that's better than zero out of eight. Well, tell me what happened. Well, when I got there, Right before I got there, I seen the squirrel move, jump up in the top of the tree. Yeah. So I knew right where he was at, and I yeah. got around, and I shot where I thought he was, and he took off running. <laughs> Eight trees later, <laughs> and seven shots later, he finally made it to his den. He was going in the hole the last time I shot him. <laughs> Knocked him out. Man, we shot that squirrel out of that tree, and he ran across the ground, and Tux was right behind him. We said, what an opportunity this puppy to get a live squirrel in his mouth and that squirrel run right up under this log right here and we reached our hand up in there and that thing's hollow that squirrel got away from us we're gonna try an old trick to see if we can get him out of there joe's got us a, a stick we're gonna try to put you up in there and twist him out this will work about one out of 10,000 times. But that one time it does work. Thanks, there he is, there he is. Got him. <laughs> Get him, black girl. Yeah. Look at that. He got hurt. Get you some, Tux. So about 10 years ago, we went out to our deer camp, went squirrel hunting, and um, we had a long road that paralleled the river. And we dropped a four-wheeler off yeah. and then drive about two miles down the That's road. That's where me and you hunt. Yeah. Same place. Go in the woods and then hunt back, back up toward the right. four-wheeler up the river. And we hadn't gone very far, <laughs> 100 yards or two. And uh, all we had was Mr. Keith's dog. And I kicked up a big old cane cutter, rabbit. <laughs> and my instinct was I automatically come up with my shotgun and I yeah. thought about his dog. Right, you don't never know if you want to shoot an off game in front of a squirrel dog, deer dog, or whatever, right. so you ask. So I did, I had my gun on the rabbit and <laughs> I said, Mr. Keith, can I shoot a rabbit around your dog? He said, yeah. So boom, I shot him. Yeah. And um, 
went over and got him and put him in my bag. And it was a good sized cane cutter. He probably weighed four pounds. Right. How much did he weigh the time he got out? When we got to the other end of where we was going, he weighed about 57 pounds. <laughs> I spent a lot of time just like you in the woods by myself. The thing I love about it, you get out there in God's creation all by yourself. It's, it's almost like God speaks to you through nature. I come up with crazy things sometimes that I wonder about. I jot them down. Yeah, and where you put them? I can't remember. <laughs> For instance, deep thoughts you think about. Like, I met my wife when I was nine years old. She went home and told her mama she met the guy she was gonna marry. And everybody thought we was crazy, but when I was 18, I married her. And that was, I think, 43 years ago. And I get out in the nature and fishing or whatever, and I think, and I have thoughts like, how does she get prettier every day? Right. Boy, that ought to give me some points. <laughs> Redneck ingenuity right there. Bill, you may look dumb. But it's just a disguise. <laughs> Let me show y'all how smart my buddy Bill is. He's got that phone wedged between two trees, taking all the video. I was kind of curious if you, if you had any more of them uh, deep thoughts you've been thinking about. <laughs> you know what a dust buster is? I have an idea. It's a little handheld vacuum cleaner. Right. It's a little small thing. It plugs on the wall, you know. It recharges. Recharges. You just get it down and vacuum up some, put it back. I often wondered, could you hold a dust buster in one hand and a cat in the other and turn the dust buster on and still hold the cat? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you'd have your hands full. I think so. Hey, Joe. Yes, sir. Did you hear that noise of that machine? What machine are you talking about? I'm talking about that machine that come down here, that road stretching machine. Look how far that thing's going. <laughs> I didn't hear it, but he's definitely been here. Yeah, it's a long, long ways back to that truck. Hey, Joe, them deep thoughts we was talking about all day. Right. I know I'm a little bit challenged now, but I thought when we found this whiskey bottle, there was a little whiskey left in it. <laughs> Actually, there was. What happened to that whiskey, Joe? I'll, ne I'll never tell. <laughs> Folks, I th I'm pretty sure I saw him pour it out. <laughs> oh, Joe's pretty good to me. Uh, take me out on a little short hunt for him. It's a long hunt for me. Most people wouldn't fool with somebody like that, but I appreciate it very much. Always remember, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all.